In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Pia, never mind. Pia would float. Gozal versus brother. Yo. Nah, I don't think it matters. Oh! Mao-sama so cool! Okay. Wonder if Bali Rose is gonna have like a really important moment this episode. Are we gonna do something where like Bali Rose is in danger and Mao-sama like saves her and that's when she like gushes and completely falls for him? I mean, they were a guest. Oh, they were here to chill, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Come on, trust them. So interesting. Frio is in a predicament where he can't just go in and clutch because he obviously can. So right now he's just maintaining this, and then Mao Sama is gonna handle it all. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is he getting pulled? Is he done? Bro literally got wrapped up and decided to just like drag the monster onto the fucking roof. Giga Chad. Yeah, that's an annoying move. Go Fenris. Nearby relocation is basically teleport. It was that simple? I thought he was just like stuck there. It, all we had to do was just pull him out? I thought he was like embedded into the crystal, but she just fucking punched him out. Alright. Who caught her? Fenris? Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> How benevolent! <laughs> Nice backflip. Correct him again, man. That whole animation there, bro. That whole animation, the punches weren't even landing. He wasn't even dodging. He was just like... <laughs> None of them were even hitting. They weren't even fucking close. He's just fucking moving back a little bit. Okay. Oh? Urimina is gonna get corrected? No. One more time. One, 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 one more time, increase the volume. Hmm. Hmm. You don't even need to throw punches. Oh! That's OP. Broken just reversed the damage. What? Okay, he still takes damage, but it gets returned. The Malicium is coming out of him. You can just do that. <laughs> Yui Guard, Emilia Sensei Arc, Redemption Arc, of, you know, Misfit Demon King Academy. The previous Dark One, the shitty one, right? Also, doesn't this mean Mao Sama could simply seal the Malicium for pretty much anybody? All the demons. If we really wanted to exist in peace, what, we just basically 
euthanasia on everybody it's not euthanasia right it's it's temporarily okay okay it's not permanent I, we, we can go back and forth i don't know it's just like i'm just thinking about like you know is this our own version of the rumbling it's not the rumbling it was the other thing they were trying to do my little brother oh. What is that? Did we just put him in the bathroom? What the fuck? You, uh, uh, what's, what's her name? Fufun would really love this one. Fu they should have used this on Fufun. Oh, uh, I, I, I. That's a beauty about pausing. That's, that's a beauty about pausing because I can make shit like this and it's like, oh, that guy has no fucking clue. And then boom. Damn, yo, these hospital staff aren't fucking around. Granny got it going on! Now, what about the fake prince? Sorry, the fake hero. <laughs> like, what kind of cheeks are getting clapped right now? Literal cheeks getting clapped. Yep, sure, the Melissium, sure. She really cares about fake hero. And Fudio's magic can just do all that. Yep, easy. I really thought that maybe Bali Rosa would be in trouble. And like Maosama would try to help her. What the? These idiots trying to fucking run away again, and then this time we found a new hot spring, bro. They they think this is actually pretty good, right? Discovery of new hot spring. <laughs> so they don't know really. More cunny moments incoming. All right, back to cunny moments. Holy! Oh, 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 who's this? Who's? Are Mew scared of water? Yeah, that feels pretty good afterwards, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meowzing. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> that cat stare right into the titty, bro. What are you looking at? You can't see me. What are you looking at, huh? Come on now. Everyone is just so well endowed. Are we about to get consent? Is she getting jealous of us? Hold up, because like they're, they're, they, they had a thing going on and then she was like, oh wait, I need to ask for, you know, consent first, but it's like... Okay... Okay... The dungeon. The sex dungeon. Yeah, secret time. No nipples, easy. No peeking from the guys either. みんな打ち解けるだろうな。こうしていると肩の力が抜けて気も緩む。一緒に温泉に入る日が来るなんて。そうだな。しかし初めて会った時からあの。Interesting to say the least. Guys, he's like god. わかってますよ。いられる単力。大いなる力を私利私欲のためではなく、魔族と World peace. World peace. World peace. World peace. World these kind of solutions never really work because life is more nuanced than that. <laughs> Marriage between Bali Rosa and Mao Sama. Yes, love will bring happiness to everybody. Mao Sama Dong. <laughs> Two 
two dudes. Yep, two brothers. Yep, mm hmm. Nothing gay here. Just men being men, boys being boys. We are not homosexual, we are homosexual. <laughs> Looking like a slime banquet. Does it help fertility? What is it? Libido? <laughs> Eel actually boosts energy like that? What else? Origami from Data Live would say like some kind of like turtle soup too, right? Like different fucking things to like boost the libido. <laughs> Cat loves fish. What's going on, Baridoza? Mm. Mm -hmm. What a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Udiminas getting cucked. <laughs> I feel bad. Udiminas is not gonna win this. I don't- I think she's just gonna get, you know, just cucked. <laughs> Maybe uh, we can have multiple wives. <laughs> nah, there's not two Bellinos. You're just drunk. Family is moving. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Fenris is on the hunt for the prey. <laughs> Fenris has a lot of energy right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling of defeat, defeated in cooking. I forgot about that. And then she went on a whole cooking journey, huh? She went on a whole cooking arc, master chef arc, right? She, she tasted defeat for the first time there. ひとしぞくをどう思うかと問われると難しいですが、むしろ愛おしいと再感じていますわ。オッケー。そっか。ですが、君の気持ちを聞いておきたかったんだ。これから魔族とひとしぞくの争いが危害が大きくならないように町の
Bunch of furries in here. Dunna sama. Belena teaching arc so cute. Now that's efficient. That's kind of zucchini looking thing. It's not a carrot. Oh no. See, the reason I knew why she was so freaky, because she went into that specific sex dungeon, you know, the, the room in the hot spring place. You know why I knew she was freaky? Because, like, she was on the horse. And, like, horse girls, they are never beating allegations. There is something about girls that are, like, really close to horses. Like, in high school, too. Like, the 4-H girls, bro, they were fucking freaky. They are never beating allegations. There is something about a girl and an con intimate connection with the horse that makes them do some weird-ass shit, bro. And I, this isn't schizo theory either. I know it's true. They don't have to know that part. Oh! This says coronation. Oh, back in the palace. As in, this will happen. Right, because he sealed it away. Here we go, coronation! Whoa! Is that skin? Is, 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 because is, like this part, like this is obviously mid cleavage, but like the bottom part here is, is this also, I think it is, right? It's not like skin color. It's weird because like this part's all skin colored and the top part looks like skin, you know? It's like her, like, I'm, no, no, her, her coochie is not that low. This, this is not her, no, no, it's not, it's not, this is just a clot, but like, no, 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 the, the, the real skin exposes here. The real skin exposes here, and everything below that is a clot, but like, imagine if it wasn't. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Damn, those are long curls. Okay, so he's right away? Oh, this fucking idiot's gonna run to the demon content or do some stupid shit. I don't know the- Well... What if- what if- what if the king ran away and met the fake hero and now they're all- it's just like- it's- it's the trio of them. I don't know, that- that would be an interesting, funny, you know, you know, way for them to progress that plotline. Did the king go? <laughs> okay. Wanted posters. Another hall! So, like, how do they climb out now? They're comfortably using the shovel to always hide like this. They must have, like, they must have gotten used to just climbing out because before they were really struggling. The redemption arc, bro. Hero redemption arc. Okay, bro. Oh, this is feeling like a season ending monologue from the main character. I hate vegetables in my bake room. The end? Yeah. Who worked the hardest? Yeah, he didn't work. I mean, he suffered a lot, for sure, right? I, I think that everyone can acknowledge the amount of shit that he had to go through <laughs> over and Frio honestly had the easiest time. If you want, like, a tier list of the characters that worked hard or, like, suffered the most, yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Scene 2 confirmed? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if season two is confirmed, but they kind of hinted at it, and I would love to see a season two for this. And that is. What is this anime called? It's so goddamn long. It's called Chilling in Another World with My OP Cheat Level 2 Skills. I don't know. This anime, honestly, 
I thought that it was trash in the first episode because if you just look at episode one alone, it was kind of trash. There was nothing unique about it. It's a fucking isekai world. But I guess you isekai from an isekai world and that was unique. But, you know, OP characters doing OP things. Wow. But then Fenris showed up. And then the show decided to not take it so seriously and focus on the slice of life moments, the different character quirks between all the different girls. And through these moments and focusing on what this show's good at, no longer was it trying to take itself seriously and trying to focus on all the hype action battles. And it did happen here and there, but because it didn't take itself seriously, I was so enjoying this chill world, just living through their day-to-day -day lives. I think that this anime was a sleeper isekai. I think that a lot of people might have checked out episode 1 and dropped it, but if you really gave this episode a chance, even just watching episode 2, it was special. I love the fake hero and the fake gold digger. When I say fake gold digger, it doesn't mean she's a fake, you know, she's a gold digger, guys. I love them. Even though they were stupid as fuck, they always kept the show interesting by getting into different shenanigans and causing conflict. I love the way Fenris is so jealous over, you know, other girls' affection towards Danna-sama, even though they weren't really affectionate. I love Balido's and Mao-sama, you know, dynamic. It's not really complete yet, but clearly there's some works going on. Fufun, you know? Fufun be the muscle chest and Yui got it just like beating the shit out of Fufun. There's these funny quirks and different, you know, quirks that happens between the, like, the wide variety of ca cast of characters. That was just such a fun time to watch. I would... I probably shouldn't give it a score this high, but in terms of my own personal preference and enjoyment, this is an 8 out of 10 minimum that could have scaling higher. In terms of what an objectively good anime is, I don't know. Maybe it's like seven or below but like this was such a fun anime to watch and i hope that a lot of other people watched it and maybe we're gonna get a season two announcement and that's it from me if you're still here if you didn't do this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care